A Canadian teen has earned international recognition for her work on planetary defense. 14-year-old Arushi Nath, you'll remember her, she's been on the show before. She took part in the European Union contest for young scientists. She won second prize, this is the competition there, for an algorithm that she created and this is to study asteroids that are headed towards Earth. So we spoke with Arushi before she left for this competition. We are happy to welcome her back with her prize in studio. Hi, Arushi. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, now that you're home, contest is over. First of all, let's show everybody how you did. For sure. Yeah, yeah. this is a European competition like a science fair really, but a global one. How'd you do? Um, I did amazing. Um, I was able to win the second award. Woohoo! Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. That is so great. Um, this is really amazing. And we should tell everybody, you actually qualified for this competition once before, but you weren't old enough to go. That is true, yeah. Last year, I made a project on finding unknown asteroids in space. Yes. And I was able to win the top project at the Candlewhite Science Fair, but unfortunately, I was one year too young. So, I was 13. So you show up this year, you take second place. Um, you know, we were talking about asteroids and your project involves asteroids. And, yeah. and we were just talking with Dan Riskin today about this project with Bennu. They have brought home some of the rocks. So how do you feel about this discovery and the fact that there's bits of that here on Earth? Yeah, I, I watched a live stream yesterday yeah. when the sample landed on the Utah desert. And it's a really proud moment because Canada actually contributed the altimeter, which was able to do a 3D scan of the asteroid to find where to get the samples. And it's like a really proud moment because we're getting 4% of the samples and hopefully it'll help us better understand the physical properties of this asteroid, which is actually what my project was all about, determining physical properties of asteroids. I feel like you need to send somebody an email somewhere saying you want to at least see it or like be, <laughs> be in the same room with it. Oh yeah, that would be amazing, yeah. <laughs> and I'm actually giving a presentation to the Canadian Space Agency in just a few days. So I'll definitely congratulate them Canadian then. Space Agency, I know some of you are watching this uh, program, so Rishi's here. She'd really like to see some of the rocks. I think you need to invite her along. Um, can you give us a sense of what your project was about? Remind everybody about your, what your project was about and why you play so well at this competition. For sure, so my project was all about planetary defense. Mm -hmm. So I created an algorithm which, is, which uses images from remote telescopes as well as open science to determine physical properties of asteroids. So like how big they are, what they're made of, how fast they rotate. And then I applied my algorithm to measure the success of NASA's double asteroid reduction test mission or DART mission. Uh, this is just incredible. Ar Arushi, you traveled there to Belgium with uh, your parents. What was that like? It was incredible. Like it was my first international travel on my own. And just when I entered the airport, I was on my own. I got to do baggage check, security, immigration, all on my own. And it was a really interesting experience and I would love to do it again, but definitely something I'll always remember. I've met your dad. I feel like he'll have something to say about that. <laughs> um, you had to present this project again. This is to young scientists ac across Europe. Uh, there was another Canadian that was there, Elizabeth Chen. Uh, she won first place. So it means we had Canada first and second on this competition. Why is that? How does that excite you about space and study here in Canada? That is definitely really exciting. Um, Elizabeth had a project which was related to finding alternate treatments for cancer. Mm -hmm. And we both were able to win first and second prizes yeah. at the International Fair. And we were actually the only country to be able to do so, which was really incredible. And I think this definitely means a lot for youths in science mm -hmm. in Canada. And it shows that anything is really possible as long as you set your mind to it and yeah. And went to women in science. For sure, for, for Canada, sure, which is, science. which is amazing. Uh, you were telling me you can't do this competition again. That's true. Sadly. And when I spoke with your dad last time, I said, is she gonna enter the Canadian science competition again? And he said, I hope not, <laughs> <laughs> but you have other plans, I take it. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Like, um, I definitely wanna con continue in the path of astronomy. And I'm thinking of going towards exoplanets and learning more about them and their atmospheres. Um, exoplanets are just planets who are outside our solar system and who orbit around different stars. So that's something I would definitely like to pursue in the future. Listen, you've got your head in space, but your feet firmly planted on the ground. We love having you here on the program. Congratulations again. We're so proud of you. Thank you so much. And best of luck. We'll be talking to you next year for the Canadian competition. Oh, yeah, for sure. See you then. <laughs> Thanks, Rishi. Thanks so much. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.